to get rid of salt stains. Oh, 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 salt stain pains. Today we got some salt stains we're gonna get rid of painfully. We just get to be Bobby Lake. Give it a quick rub. And look at that stuff just here. Man, look at that. Some people's lives are before and after video. Just put it so if you're in the wall. Look at that. Cleaning right up and there's lots of salt in the air now. Just a little thing is missing. Oh, whatever. I'm just here to get rid of these salt stains. I think it works so fast. Gets into all those hard to reach areas, except for that one. Of course. Oh. Battery's dead. Oh well. Next part of the video. All right. So today's topic is the this guy. This pulley. Right See? So you probably thought move a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. That's about all the movement we get. Now let's cut to the one that we're gonna fix. So in the previous clip we showed you this guy and we showed you a good one, a used one, how it moved. Now this one, fire it up. That's really hard to tell how much it's jiggling. side to side. It, it, it's oscillating at least at 50 frames per second because it looks so steady right now. It, it, you wouldn't be able to hold that thing steady. It, it just moves so much. It just doesn't pick up on the, on the camera. But if that's moving, here's how you fix it. Sockets you will need are this E12 socket. Looks a little bit like that. And then we have this uh, T60. And that's to relieve the tension. See, see that's, what you, that's what you need to do to get the belt off. Maybe you can make one of these tools yourself. Or not. Bana, bana, and then you crack that bolt loose and listen to that snap. Satisfier. Oh, and now uh, we're just gonna work that out. It's just one bolt, right? And then this is how easy it is to oh, remove. Please, please, please. Eh? Eh, it's two bolts. Or one bolt. And a tensioner thing. That's what it looks like. Let's put it in the vise after and see what, how tight it is? Yeah, sure. See, uh, this is the old one. You could just move that by hand. That's, that's loose. Loose. Okay, so now we can't really move it, but we also have the pin in it. But, like, you need to move it to get the pin out. So that's why we have uh, tools to do that once it's you know, installed, because that's, that's tight. You know, you're gonna try the new one, it's gonna be tight. You're not gonna move it by hand. That's, that's, that's why we have tools. If we're using the bolt, oh yeah, sauce it up. Copper grease every time. If you are planning on doing this to your own N55 engine, this is the belt, and, and that's the tensioner number. And what is this? See, and this is how you pop it back in, you know, you just uh, leave the stick in there and just keep working at it. People always wish they had bigger hands, but not all the time. And here's how you get the pin out. You're gonna get some tension on it. See, that's how you get the pin out. Mm, wow, it's really tight, believe it or not. Okay, maybe take two. See, he just got it. As soon as we stop rolling, he just got it. And then he's letting the tension back in here. And... Now he's gonna have a hard, hard time getting the wrench out. <laughs> That's why we make it detachable right here. We just got the pry burn. Pop it off. Before you start it up, check your 
about routing or take a picture or just keep relying on this video because it's accurate. So now you'll be able to see the bigger difference when we give it the startup, see how much she's gonna go wham wham. Yeah. Now it isn't moving whatsoever. It's a lot more quiet. Life is good. I hope it shows up on the video, it's moving side to side, but in real life, if you have the noise, it'll be very prominent. Anyways, uh, keep your stick on the ice and all that good jazz.